keep eating eggs every morning, you're gonna have a heart attack. Didn't you hear? They're good for you now. What happens five years from now when they become bad for you again? You worried something's gonna happen to me? I'm worried I'm gonna have to deal with another roommate. Took me long enough to get used to you. Kevin. Sorry. Water under the bridge. All right, you have my best interests in mind. You want some bacon? I mean, that's always gonna be good for you. <laughs> I'm into that, brother. Look who it is. Frickin' frack. We're in the middle of a conversation, Gallo. Oh, I bet you are. Mike here's a really good listener, isn't he, Kevin? What do you want? Nothing. I'm just nice to see you guys are such good friends. Nice to know you can trust each other. I only wish I could trust that Mike here was really working on getting me out on parole. We are working on it. Well, you're running out of time. Did you listen to me, guys? No! There's no more listening. You got until 6 o'clock tonight to get Harvey down here. After that, I'm going to schedule a little hearing of my own. Can I help you? I hope so. My name's Rachel Zane. And I'm a lawyer working on your nephew's case. My nephew's case was over a long time ago, and thank God for that. Ma'am, I'm here because we believe Leonard was wrongly convicted of those murders. Well, that's what they all say, isn't it? But just because he suckered you doesn't mean he's gonna sucker me. He didn't sucker anyone. I looked at the evidence, and I got to know the man. So you got proof he didn't do it? We're working on it. But if we can't find a way to push back the execution, then in 30 days, it won't matter anymore. What do you want from me? I want you to ask the court for a delay so you can be with him at his execution. I'm not going to watch him die. Miss Dion, please. You raised him. I raised Leonard from when he was 14 to 17. I took him in. I loved him. He was no good then, and he's no good now. Look, if that's the case, you don't have to be at the execution. But if you could sign this request that says you're too infirm to travel this month, it will at least give him the chance to prove you wrong. I'll sign your letter. But I'm not watching him die. 